Hi guys, let's make some breadfruit oil down today. So welcome back to the channel and let me show you our ingredients. So here we have our breadfruit already peeled and cut into not bite-sized pieces but a little bigger because if they are bite-sized whilst cooking it will melt down to you know we don't want a soup we want <laughs> our oil down and we've got here our dashing leaves or taro leaves which is used for like kalaloo bush for kalaloo they may call it kalaloo bush we've got here some um, diced carrots we've got here some diced pumpkin we've got here some salt fish now meats in boil down is totally up to you some persons use pigtail i do not eat pigtail some persons use smoke bones yes yeah, smoke pork or smoke chicken some persons use um, fresh meat like broccoli beef um even what do you call it smoke herring and things like that so i am using salt fish i've got garlic here i've got onions i've got pimentos and my coconut milk of course yeah i've got some black pepper and add all other ingredients along with me and my pot is here heating so let's start i'm starting by adding two tablespoons of oil to the pot which i'm going to saute my aromatics I'm um, adding my onion, my pimento, so I'm going to leave it for too long, just going to leave it, the aroma is coming out already, <laughs> yep, and I'm going to add in the carrot, And of course, uh, dashing You can use spinach also if you choose. That's okay. I'm just going to sweat this here for a bit. Then I'm going to add the pumpkin. I'm not going to add the salt fish now or the cod fish because we don't want to get it lost in the pot. Remember it's a one pot um, meal. So after I put everything in, I'm going to cover it and let it steam for about 45 minutes but halfway through at 20 minutes I'm gonna add the cut fish to the pot so this is what's going on here bring the camera a little closer right. so you can see what's happening in there so I'm going to add breadfruit now we make a little stir I'm going to add coconut milk and we need enough coconut milk to cover the breadfruit yeah Gonna pour it in there now. Just the cover. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, so to this, I'm going to add my favorite adubo, all purpose seasoning. You can add any all purpose seasoning of your choice. So basically, I'm adding like a tablespoon and a half here 
and I'm going to add a teaspoon of black pepper you can use cayenne pepper if you choose yep I'm also going to add a teaspoon two teaspoons of sugar brown sugar which is optional of course So here everything is in my pot except the codfish or swordfish. So I'm going to leave that to simmer. Let it come up to the, a rolling boil first and then I'll leave it to simmer on a low heat for 20 minutes and then I'll add the meat, the fish, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's check what's happening with our oil down here now all right so you see what's happening yep it's going down nicely and the color of the bread food has changed so you know that it is cooked and you can just try cutting a piece Yep. So I'm going to add my salted codfish and some more pimentos now. And of course you can check for salt and you can add a scotch bonnet pepper to it and let it continue simmering for about another 20 minutes and it will be ready. Okay. Hi folks, this is our finished product, our finished oil down. Yep. So here we can see we have some carrots here. We have some pumpkin here. My scotch bonnet. And the dashing leaves of course is in the sauce. That's, I would say a sauce. It's creamy and nice. Yep. Some persons put um, dumplings and green bananas and other, you know, root vegetables, ground provision, so to speak, in the oil down. And here's my piece of codfish. Codfish here again. But I like my oil down just breadfruit on its own. So, I'm going to have myself a bowl here now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have fun with this. And it's too hot. I'm not going to try to eat it. It's very hot right now. So, I'm going to leave it to cool down because it, it's one of the veg um, provision that um, holds heat. Like potatoes, potatoes hold heat. Breadfruit also holds heat. So, it's going to be very hot and I don't want to burn my tongue. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Try it and tell me how it went.